Hey everybody, how are you doing? I got a letter in the mail from Doc Brown, so it's from the future or from the past, uh, or from the futury past. Uh, it really depends on which part of the franchise where smells like the future does not smell like horses. Uh, of course, that Doc Brown is a Back to the Future reference, uh, and if if you if you're not uh, watching Back to the Future. Uh, then you're probably not watching this channel because we are filled with pop culture and uh, random references. That's how I roll. Uh, sad. I wish I could say it was just for these videos I come up with random pop culture. But often I find my son looking at me like, what are you talking about, Dad? And I'm like, Conan the Barbarian. You don't even know. Um, anyway, this is very funny. Uh, this is from, of course, Cards by Mark. The great Cards by Mark. And he sent some stuff over for, oh, I bet this is for my set. So I'm working on some Junk Era stuff. Mike Schmidt, that's probably a card I needed. A, uh, I don't know what this is, random, it's not Pokemon, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a Digimon. Not familiar with Digimon, but I bet the kiddo is. Very cool, thank you. And 64 stars, oh, this is probably for my set. They were Tur uh, Torres and DJ LeMahieu. Um, if you are a set builder, and I know I've said it before, I do have my link below. Mark also has a similar link if you go to, over to his page. And he likes to do some swapping and to uh, help, help set builders build sets because that's what it's all about. It's a lot easier if uh, we can help each other out. And, oh, got a grumpy Mattingly here. Grumpy Donnie, that was an all-nighter with uh, no coffee or no creamer. One of the two, he wasn't happy about that morning. Um, and then a couple extra Donnie baseballs. Thank you so much. It actually says uh, in the in the note that uh, he sent me a box and uh, that he forgot to send these. So the box hasn't arrived yet, but the cards have. So very, very cool. Mark, thank you so much. If you, if you haven't heard yet, we are going to do our home run challenge again this year. Very excited about it. Uh, we will have a mystery guest who will be partaking. So there will be four people, uh, or three people beating me. Last year, I felt really good and then ended up in last place. Thanks a lot, Kirby. Uh, appreciate that a lot. Or was it Lucas? I know it wasn't Brad. This is one of the other two was feeding him the answers because it certainly wasn't Brad. Um, but that was awesome. So thank you so much, and I will talk to you later. Uh, trading is fun. Link is in the description. I'll put Mark's link there too. It's, all the cool kids are doing it. Set builders, unite! Hey, <laughs> everybody. Kiddo just got home from school, and he's in a great... Oh, gosh. Hi! <laughs> and he's in a great mood because he rocked out on two tests today. Two tests. And it was picture day, so I did my hair. And it was picture day, so he actually brushed his hair. You... And put some stuff in it. I got some jail. You got some jail. You got some, some stuff jail. today from Chris over at Everything Wicked. He also uh, has a channel called Wicked Digger. And, okay, Everything Wicked is like, kind of like us where he just kind of talks about and shows off stuff he digs. So, Pokemon, uh, I know, uh, sports cards, comic books, all things nerdy. He's got one called Wicked Digger where he shows off uh, where he goes on uh, coin hunts. He does he does the metal detecting, finds some really cool stuff. My favorite is when he finds the cool buttons. Like Oh, I mean nobody would be cool if you had like a metal detector, huh? Chris has better knees than I do. He's got younger knees than me. And uh so they bought me a metal detector, but I never used it. Uh, anyway, so anyway we, we were told to return it. We got something cool in the mail. <laughs> And coming from Chris, I figure there's something in there that you would really dig. And since you had such a good day, I wanted to make sure that I waited for you. Oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 no. to be good nose rock. Thank you so much for everything. Oh, there's all sorts of stuff. This is baseball stuff for you. Well, I like baseball. Do you want to tell them why you had a good day? Yeah, yeah I, stuff I, got, I got good stuff on tests. Yeah. Like what? I got a one hundred on a math test. A one hundred. Hundred on a math. Hold on, I think there's. That's those are definitely. For ooh, you. Those ooh. are definitely. Okay, man. Okay, man. Go get you. Okay, single strike or two V. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. This is from. Cool. Ooh, no.
Yo, you go first, go first. Oh, I'm, I was just saying that's so cool. 1994. You know, how, how old were you in 1994? Dead. You're not dead. dead. You weren't even alive. Not alive. Born. Not you born. were not even a thought. Well, that's not true. I always knew I wanted to have kids. I just didn't think I would get so lucky to find your mom and have you. Because you're amazing. Ne next. Pikachu V. Pikachu V. You, you, your turn. Your turn. <gasps> your turn. Your turn. Your turn. What is it? What is it? It's, it's from. It's the Kmart collection. And it says, open me for, for Mattingly. But do I open it? <laughs> Go ahead, do it, do it. It's the, it's the whole do little it. set. There is a Mattingly in here. Uh, that I bet you don't have, right? I don't know if I should open it. <laughs> I don't know. Chris, I'll, if you tell me in the comments, Justin, open it and get the Mattingly, I will do it. But if you're like, it's up to you, it's going to stay sealed. Because that's awesome. Um, sorry, keep going. A base set to Starmie so cool. from 1995, 1996. It's cool, it's cool. Ooh, this one is multiple things in it. McGuire and Bonilla. Oh, 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 oh. Mama Nerd out. Mama we nerd. got oh, we a lost her. foil since the scorch. Yeah. Huh. Aikman. Back when the Cowboys were good. And a Madden My EX. Ooh, Barry Bonds, but. Daddy! Thank you so much. Donnie! Thank you so much. Donnie! Thank you so much. P-Rose! Thank you so much. Donnie! Thank you so much. That's a cool one. Donnie! Thank oh my so gosh, much. are these all Mattingly's? Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Okay, the 89. Praise the Lord! The 89s are a, just a wonderful set. Huh. That's cool. I've never seen this one before. It's uh, A-Rod. And that's his Mariners. That's his young A-Rod. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I got some so rad much. stickers. So bop, 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 bop. Yeah. Fleer. Is that Fleer 91 maybe? Ooh, Frank Thomas rookie yeah. card. You know what? I'm literally putting that set together. It's right. There's some cards over there because I'm putting them in order and I needed that one. Awesome. Perfect. Literally. And I think I needed that one because I just got through putting that one together. Very, very cool. Robin me out. Oh, and with some more Mattingly's. This one's funny. Don't look, CW, if you're watching this. Close your eyes. It's the famous chicken. That one, 100%, is going to get TTM. <laughs> Tom Glavin, rookie. That's awesome. Uh, is this Carew? Oh, yes. And it's Maddenly in the corner. That's super awesome. Oh, these are so fun. Hold on. Donnie, Donnie. Donnie, Donnie. Uh, Dave, Ricky Henderson. Oh, man, do I need these for my, my set? I might need those for my set. I'll have to look those up. Steve Avery, very cool. I might need that one for my set too. Some more Maddenly goodness. Jeff George, Andre Risen. Oh, very cool. Oh, these are so cool. Michael Irvin, Joe Montana, Andre Risen. Um, ironically, I was listening to some TLC earlier, and uh, the lady left eye, Lisa Left Eye Lopez, burned down his house. That's what happens when... Uh, I cannot get this right. I'm trying to aim the hood onto your head. You just, you gotta... You gotta yes! Go! Don't, don't make your ladies mad or they'll burn down your house. Did someone... You heard... Yeah. <laughs> that's why don't make her mad. These are so cool. I know I don't have all these. Thank you so much. So the difference with these, a lot of these will look the same, but the stickers on the back are different. So the, they count as different cards. So I have to see which versions I have. Very, very, very fun. Thank you, Chris. This was so nice of you. That was Thank exciting. you so much. Thank that you was so exciting. Much. Also, go go hang out. Um, Chris has a live stream every weekend, and uh, that's where all the kids hang out. All the cool kids wa watch them open up some Pokemon, just sit and chat, and uh, have a good time supporting the community because it's more fun to grow together. And that's it. All right, back to it. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Thank you so much. Hey everybody, so when I'm filming this, it's Monday, the dreaded Monday, uh, but Mondays aren't so bad when there are community mail days that go along with it, so I'm very excited to check out and see what's in here. Uh, got a little something from CW, the, the one and only Card Wolf, and of course, Cards by Mark, my home run challenge bro. I uh, can't wait for the new season to uh, get started so I can embarrass myself with my horrible predictions 
Uh, a lot of people, I think, last year were like, you know what? How hard is it to pick a home run? And you know what? I made it look very, very difficult. So, um, you know, it was the first year, and I kind of wanted to take it easy on everybody. Uh, Brad was struggling up front, and um, Kirby was starting to have some, some self-doubt. And so, you know, I love cats. And uh, although they make me sneeze and break out into hives, and if I was around too many of them, they could kill me. But, you know, besides that, besides that, I like cats just fine. Uh, I have always been a dog family guy. We've had lots of dogs, although we don't have any now. Um, it's the end of life stuff I struggle with. Uh, it's, it's hard, you know? Pet ownership is a lot of responsibility. It's a lot of fun. You get a lot of joy from it, but it's hard. It's hard. Anyway, I digress. We're in a good mood. We're in a good place here. Good place. Good, good mojo. Here we go. Uh, look at all this cool stuff that Mark sent. Uh, Mark and I uh, like to trade and help each other out with their sets uh, or each other's sets. It looks like we got some set building stuff in here, some Allen and Ginter. Uh, we just wrapped up the spinach hunt. Uh, I personally did not fare well, uh, but it was still a lot of fun. Very, very fun. So we got some A&G that I needed, some awesome, some... Um, Tops Gallery that I needed for my set, and some 2021, two, 2022 tops, random, uh, which is funny because I just pulled some stuff out of my 2022s to send to cards by Mark. Mark's awesome. I like him a lot. He's a good, he's a good egg, that one. Uh, also have some uh, Platinum Anniversary 2022. I loved, loved, loved this set. I'm getting... Very close to completing it. Very close. Uh, and then we have some more top sets that I've been working on. Very cool. And, and you know, starting off with uh, Bo Jackson and ending off with an Aaron Judge. Uh, that is going to be a good pack to go through. Yeah, this is all set building stuff, and I really needed it, Mark. Thank you so much. It's so much more fun and, frankly, a lot easier when you can build your sets together. we got some more. Some 2022 tops in here. Oh, sorry, I was looking at the back. Justice Sheffield. I was, I was had high hopes for Justice and uh, did not pan out well for him. This, super cool. Very excited about this 62 tops. Um, this is a set I tried to start building this year. It is on my to-do list. I also thought it would be fun to go and look at all the little cartoons. I like the little cartoons a lot. But very cool. Thank you so much. I don't have very many for the 62 top set. Um, very excited about adding that one. And Donnie Baseballs. Donnie Baseballs. Thanks, buddy. Oh, man. You can never have too many Donnie Baseballs. That's what I always say. Very, very exciting. Okay, this one is cool. Uh, I mean, I, I know the regular card. But this is a calling card. It's a call. Do you remember this upper deck card? I remember it. But this one is a calling card. And it's still in the wrapper. That's super cool. That's super cool. I'm going to have to look that up. I'm sure it's on TCDB. Uh, GTS. I don't know, man. That's really, really cool. Global calling card. Huh. Do you remember when you needed calling cards? Oh, back in the day. A little 87 Donruss action. This is 91. 92 Stadium Club. Very cool. 87. 87. Yes. Yes. I need new glasses so bad. So awesome. Look at the stash. Gosh. He's like, you see this guy and you're like, you know what? I want to have a beer with this guy, and I bet he's got some great stories. He looks like he's a good storyteller in that picture. Now he just looks like a nice old man. Um, ha, fun. Thank you so much. Very excited about those. Super excited. Super excited. Um, thanks, Mark. If you haven't checked out Mark, I don't know why. Um, I will put his link uh, below, and I'll also add his trade link because he's a great trade partner. Um, and if you're a set builder... 
or just a PC set, set person, uh, like I'm like I'm like Manly, and he likes Rafi Devers and and uh, Bo Socks, the Bo Socks, and uh, yeah, and he's always working on a ton of different sets, so you can usually find something cool to uh, send him and then do a little swapping. So very very fun. All right, this one is from. Uh, Cardwolf. Cardwolf had a 800 sub contest. I guess not really a contest. It was really just a giveaway um, where he, what he likes to do is he'll buy a big binder full of cards and he gives away everything that's in there. So it could be, oh, he, he gets to pre-look at some of it. So he doesn't know exactly what's in there, but he can see some of it. So um, there may be some just random junk cards in there, like who, checklists, like why are people putting checklists in uh, not nine nine uh, page sleeves? Who knows? Who knows? Collectors do what collectors do. We all collect differently. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying that's not how I do it. That's your jam. That's cool. No worries. Um, but usually there's some really good cards. This time there was a Ricky Henderson rookie card. So, if you wanted the Ricky Henderson rookie card, and I think there are like a hundred people that did, uh, you said, "Hey, CW, um, I'd love that Ricky Henderson card." And so he throws everybody name, everybody's name in a hat. Oh no! This time he wrote them down, and he did some dorking with dice to get down to the winner. And I did not win. I didn't win, but who cares? It's awesome. It's awesome. And CW is one of my favorite channels. He's very, very knowledgeable. Very, very funny. Uh, and I love it when the pack opening machine is, is, uh, helping him with his dorking because not only is the pack opening machine adorable, super smart. CW always forgets the rules to doing his own games, but good thing the pack opening machine is there to keep him, uh, on task, following the rules and doing what he needs to do. He's very, very cool like that. Um, so yay. All right. So. Uh, when I when I emailed CW, I was like, hey, uh, there's a bunch of random stuff in there, uh, like 90s junk era, and like those, like the Fleer sets that people aren't probably going to like, but I'm actually in the middle of building this set, so it's junk to most people, but I dig it, so not junk to me, so thank you very much, very excited about that. Um, I haven't quite started putting this together. If you saw my card room, you'd be like, Justin, this is insanity, but makes sense in my head. Anyway, I have a stack of those that I need to pull out and sort. But actually right now I have a bunch of cards right there that I need to get through first. I just, I gotta, I gotta start finishing some of these projects. Um, uh, I did pretty good this weekend. I finished a couple things. Um, oh, and some packs. Very, very fun. Uh, this is 91 score. I'm actually going to start building that set as well. Again, I have a whole stack of 91 scores I need to go through because what I also do is I will put my master set together. And then I will take my duplicates and see what I can TTM with my duplicates. And if they, if I have a duplicate that I can't TTM, it goes in a whole other box. It's a, this isn't your master set. This can be traded. You can give these away, whatever you want. You don't need these. And that's what that's all about. So very excited. So, uh, yeah. And it could be a Mattingly in there. Who knows? 87. Very fun. I'm actually really close to completing that set, which I started late last year. Um, this is 1990 Donruss. Uh, yes, you guessed it. <laughs> I'm working on that set as well. The deal is, is that I said to myself somewhere in the middle of last year that I started a bunch of this stuff when I was a kid and I never wrapped it up. And I was like, Justin, you just need to do it. Sit down, finish these sets. Your 10 year old self would really appreciate you. And your old self is like, oh, I'm so tired. But your 10 year old self is like, do it, dude. So I finally want to get through it because I feel like I never really accomplished it. And now that I'm now that I'm super in the hobby again, because I took a big a, a big absence um, just because of work, working, going to school at night um, and then have baby. It's just, you know, life gets life. Life takes up your free time. Um, so very excited. This is 88, I believe. This is 88 Donruss or 89. Uh, yes, I'm working on that set too. Um, Sports Illustrated then and now. These are super cool. 1998. Uh, I am not necessarily look, working on that set. So I can put, I, well, I can put all of this in our, our version of Dorking and Dice, uh, nerding with 
not nerding with needles, nerding with, I don't know. I don't have a good name for it. We usually just hang out in the car line because that's where we spend half of our day every day. Um, so good, good to add. There's some 90s Bowman, you guessed it, working on that set too. Um, yeah, you're like, Justin, what aren't you collecting? There's something, something out there I'm not collecting. I don't know what it is yet, but it's out there. Um, very cool. Some Mattingly's here. Uh, I always really liked that one a lot. I was like, oh, look at the foil. He's, it's like he's got an award. So cool. Got the stash. I, I got to be getting close to my full page there. Very, very fun. Oh, I ha I don't know that I've seen this one. This one, I think, has a couple different versions, so I always have to look it up. This is cool. I haven't seen this before. Sports stars. Huh. What is that? That's awesome. Man, that feels like early 90s goodness with that, that coloration on the letters. Woo! That's cool. I don't have this one either. The Investor's Journal. I haven't even seen this one before. This one's cool. Focus, 1994. That's going to be a new one in the binder. Oh, here's some more. Man, what are these? Oh, oh, oh. I recognize that, though. I have some other cards that don't have the same same front but have that same back so that's interesting i wonder if they're part of the same set <sighs> donnie without a mustache looks so weird not weird I, yeah i'm telling you he got his he got his home run power from the stash oh here's the set i was just talking about these these have the same back and i have a few of these from when i was a kid very fun. Very, very fun. But I never completed the whole set. They, they just didn't, uh, they didn't have a lot of these in the, uh, the LCS in Texas when I was a kid. Uh, you know, because I'm a Rangers fan, I'm supposed to hate the Yankees. So, but I don't. I don't. The dreaded Yankees. The evil empire. That's so fun. Oh, I haven't seen this before. I don't know what that is. CW, where'd you find all this stuff? Oh, this one's cool too. Collector's Choice of the 1980s. The Press Box. All these oddball cards are so fun. No idea what this one is. Another star, Big League Star, 1990. That's really cool. Oh, this is a... Uh, a replica of his um, his minor league card. Huh. That's fun. Yes, that's so cool. And they also, Ritz crackers. Ritz crackers. Very, very fun. Sorry, I should have been showing them off instead of admiring them. I was like, Justin, you have time to do that. We're waiting. Uh, I apologize for that. So uh, sometimes you just, you know, you, you get it, you get it in, in your hand, your hot little hand, and you're like, ah, I got to check out and see what's in here. Uh, CW, thank you so much. Uh, that sound was work. So I need to get back to it. Thank you, everybody. I really had fun with this. I hope you did too. I really appreciate it. Go check out Cardwolf. He's amazing. Um, st go for Cardwolf. Stay for the pack opening machine. Pure cuteness. Absolutely adorable. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.